Hello, my name is Robert Penner. I'm the Avian Conservation Manager for the Nature Conservancy located in the state of Kansas. And I'm lucky enough to work with conservation of shorebirds throughout the Western Hemisphere. The Flint Hills of Kansas is the last expression of tall grass prairie. Tall grass prairie is not usually thought about when you are talking about shorebirds. Yet, there is a small group of shorebirds that rely on wide open grassland habitats for the majority of their life cycle. The region is dominated by gently rolling hills of grass, which has largely been protected from cultivation due to a layer of rock lying just below the surface. As such, this region is well suited for grazing. A common grassland management practice is annual spring burning, providing fresh lush grass increases livestock weight gains. This burning creates large expanses of freshly burned areas that are highly favored by grassland shorebirds. So it is the short grass that attracts shorebirds to the tall grass prairie. Freshly burned grasslands provide short vegetation and easy access to freshly roasted invertebrates, which are essential to their diet. But annual burning leads to a scarcity of nesting vegetation and a loss of heterogeneity with annual burning favoring grasses while slowly eliminating many forbs. We are trying to promote such techniques as rotational burning, rotational grazing, patch burning, and burning at different times of the year, which benefits good grazing and a place for wildlife. Burning in the fall is gaining acceptance. The time frame for burning aligns almost directly with the fall migration of buff-breasted sandpipers. Fall burning has the potential to increase stopover habitat for this species. In addition to trying to influence grassland management that would benefit shorebirds, the Flint Hills Shorebird Conservation Initiative works on education, outreach, and surveys, all in an effort to exhibit the importance of the tall grass ecosystem.